question. How does it feel going into the last season of Eureka and what's been your fondest memories over the years? Uh, well, you know, honestly for me, it, because we were shooting in Vancouver, it's sort of a special experience with the crew. You know, some of the actors will probably see again, but, uh, but leaving them is going to be very sad. Really, really wonderful people there in Vancouver. So, um, just to sort of start, how about you? Um, yeah, actually, I think that that um, just all the people who made the show, um, our writers are were an amazing group, especially the last two seasons. And um, I think that the other part of it is actually like the conventions. These 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 are sort of unique times for us to get a chance to really talk to our fans. So we'll have one more season to talk about before we have to wrap it all up. So. The last two years, I've been directing uh, Eureka. So my, I, I actually want to go over to Warehouse and, uh, and, and, and direct the Warehouse their show. In the so, so direct, not actually appear, but all both. Oh, I could do both. I could. Do, I love the guys over there. We all, Colin and Joe, both directed. Mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, we're all supportive of each other. I'm not going to give you a hard time because I want you to um, be able to do what you need to do. And they gave me the same respect. And um, since I was the only woman directing, I had a great, great mission to crush them. <laughs> so, um, no, it was... Uh, down the angry bit. <laughs> yes. I will crush you. Um, so, no, it was... Um, I, I'm just really... There's not much to do when you have uh, someone like, like Joe Morden there. It's funny, though, how it all sort of started from a joke. Um, I was came downstairs a couple of seasons ago and ran into Jack Kenny, who was a you know, showrunner on, on the warehouse, and uh, saw Rubenek having breakfast. And, said, and since Saul had been on our show in season one, I uh, said, you know, we should do a crossover. We should have you come come over and you can play yourself. But people were kind of thinking, yeah, he looks really familiar, like, like Carl Carlson. <laughs> and, you know, we thought, well, we could all, you know, our shows kind of existed in the same universe. And we could probably send, um, you know, Carter and Joe or somebody over to help out with some investigation on Warehouse. Mm -hmm. And um, the joke then we started talking about, I said, you know, we actually could do this. But then there was a, the scheduling is a huge challenge when mm -hmm. you've got two shows simultaneously shooting and you have to steal an actor from one. I, all I have to say is I'm in an episode that involves water. I can say that? Yeah, you can say that. And um, as he watches me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Just, that involves water. Going. After drinks water. That <laughs> was very memorable for me because it was, um, I have a Years ago, I did a film with water, and I have a thing about anything that involves putting your face putting, in water. Yeah, being completely submerged in water. So really. we submerged her. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Some of you may have heard that we're not coming back for a sixth season. We were, we weren't, and all those things. But because of the way that that happened, um, we were in the middle of shooting the season finale uh, when we found out that we weren't going to be coming back for the sixth season. And it was way too late to course correct and for me to rewrite that to, to be in any way a satisfying conclusion to the show. So um, luckily the network uh, agreed to give us one more, but that meant that we had to shoot it continuously. We, we couldn't take time off. So we had two days to break the story and I had three days to write it. Ooh. And then we were, and basically they, the day that we found out that we could do it, the next day that episode was supposed to start prepping. So our crew had about about three and a half days to actually prep the episode.